Hello everybody, it's Claire here with one of my Graphic 45 projects. This is um, a project, a book in a box, and it's made from one of the new Graphic 45 matchboxes. This is the smallest one. They're really robust, made out of the craft card, and lovely to work with and great to alter. So let me show you what I did. I've painted the matchbox black and lacquered it and then I've taken a piece of chipboard, raised that up and stuck that over the square on the front and then I've taken one of the stickers from the sticker collection and put that over the top to give um, that shaped aperture on the front and then I've put some art glitter all the way around, red art glitter, I don't know if you can see it sparkling, just around the very edge of the raised chipboard piece and the sticker on the front. The detail on the box goes all the way round. I've used one of the Clarity Stamps, Oriental Blossoms, and the Mega Flakes by Indigo Blue to give that gold look and feel and I thought that was quite sort of oriental and then on each end of the box I've used one of the new pulls from Graphic 45 so that you can open the box easily. So let's open it up. So the front was just painted, let's put that over there. The inside of the box has been painted and there's a small album in here. Um, it is really tiny so let's just lift that out and then the inside of the box I've covered with the stripy paper as well and black of that too and that's with the Claudine Helmuth matte medium so those are the two box pieces and then into that I've made a tiny little album out of um, chipboard and black card used a sticker on the front there is a piece of ribbon that runs all the way around from the front, it's tucked under here, it goes under the sticker on the front, around the side, all the way along the back, and then through a hole in the back of the book, threads through, and then onto the end of that I've put one of the two stickers. There's a magnet in there and a magnet under here, and that's the closure for the book, so it keeps it nice and tight. So it is really teeny weeny. It's made from the 8x8 papers and there's lots of little tags inside and pockets and I've used the stickers all the way through as well. So just a little 3x2 photo map there and a sticker here. Cut out a couple of lanterns and made a pocket. There's a little file um, tag there and then a memory stick. These were for print tulip creations. They are new chipboard pieces that they've got in and uh, they're beautiful, absolutely beautiful to work with and really fine. So there's a little pocket there for those to fit in. Flipping over, I've got a chipboard piece here and then I've used some of the stamps to make some tags. So just a couple of little tags there and then I've used one of the stamps, the outside of the stamps on that one and that's just plain, those just sit under there like that. This one I've used another one of those chipboard pins, that one's got a butterfly in and I've inked it with a vintage photo and then used two of the stamp stickers just to decorate it and then um, cut out various borders and elements from the paper just to build up the page. This one here, I've cut out one of the ladies from the um, cards. Again, there's another little file book here. Oops, tiny one. That's a Sizzix stamp. No, Sizzix die. And then I've got a couple of the cutouts from the paper the stamps and I've just 
pop them behind that belly bar that runs under the lady and then just raised up a little semicircle on some foam tape just to stop them falling out and the same on this side as well I've carried that theme through used one of the cutouts as the pocket and then I've just got a small tag that sits under there Oops. everything had to just fit on the page it can't stick out because of how the book goes into the box this one is a flip up page again there's a magnet under here and I've used one of the stickers to cover that up and that just flips up, flips down, and then there's a pocket in the centre, and I've just added a tag and a picture. And cut the tag out. Oops. And that just slides in there. And then that shuts up. And then I've used a chipboard piece on here and one of the cards. And made a belly bar just to go across the page there and that one just fits behind like that and then on the last page I've put a, a slit pocket in here again there's a cut out from the paper and I think this was a Sizzix die little bird on the top that I've made into a tag And the last page it does have just two tiny tags that go in it, again with the belly bar, a sticker, two stickers from the paper. So really tiny, but really fun to make. I'm not sure that that one will stay in actually. And it all fits together, does up with its magnet, fits back in the box. And then it just closes up like that. So I hope you've enjoyed that walkthrough and thanks very much for watching.